welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Trash Talk. <laughs> That's loud. And there's a lot in there, so um, I'm not going to waste too much time with the intro. My name is Kath. I post videos every Sunday at 7am London time. This particular video is my Beauty Empties, products I have used from top to bottom, and I give you my honest feedback. Would I buy them again? Is it worth the money? All of that good stuff. I personally love trash talk. You guys do too. It is by far one of my top videos. Whenever I post it, people love a bit of trash talk. So guys, without further ado, let's talk some trash. Right, gonna dive straight in. So, this month has been apparently very busy. Uh, this is my favorite dry shampoo and it is the Batiste original. I, d I don't care what fragrance it is. Basically when they're on special, I'll just get whatever's going. So this was the original one and I think I got these for like a third off in boots. I use these when I curl my hair. This is day two hair. So I use this on my roots before I curl my hair or I use it on day three when my hair's in a bun. It's just a really easy way for me to get an extra day out of my hair without washing it. And for that, I love it. I have tried other brands. Batiste is always the one I go back to. Cheaper ones, just don't do it any. They just, they just don't. So I don't even bother. I just go straight to Batiste. If they haven't got any sales on, I will pay full price. It's fine. Oh dear, here we go. Another month, another Avon hand cream. It's February. It's still quite chilly here in London, so I still need to... I always use hand cream anyway, but when it's cold, I go through it a lot faster. I absolutely love these Avon hand creams. You know I do. This is the Cocoa Butter one, dry to extra dry skin. I don't really have extra dry skin, but I just love the smell of Cocoa Butter, so that's why I got this one. But I go through, as you can tell, one every few weeks or so, so yeah. Shower gel. I have the uh, Molten Brown Rosa Absolute. This was, I didn't like it originally. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I started using it, I kind of fell for it a little bit. It's really spicy, that's why. It's rosy, but it's spicy. And Molten Brown, I mean, I love the Elemis shower milk. We know this. But Molten Brown is just a really nice alternative for me. And I got this in a kit from QVC. I think it was the Platinum Jubilee. So I got it then. Love it. I wouldn't buy it full price. I wouldn't buy it for myself, but I did enjoy it. And I used it with, and this is why these two have run out at the same time. I used it with my perfume that goes very nicely with this, which I will uh, go into. But it gives a really nice lather. It makes you feel really clean. I did really enjoy it. And I finally used up, and I have got a backup already going live. And this is my FM 930. Now, you guys know I partner with FM. I mentioned this in my last trash talk or my last favorites video, I think. I partner with FM and I sell their perfumes. They are basically five out of five like for like dupes of high end perfume. Now, they're not knockoffs they're not fakes they're really good quality everybody that i've sold to has said how great they are i wouldn't buy them if they weren't i started as a customer and then i started selling them because i was so enthusiastic about them i talked about them all the time and people kept asking me so in the end i was like why not anyway enough rambling 9 30 this one is a um five out of five match for joe malone velvet rose and oud which is an intense fragrance, which full price, 100 ml is like 175 pounds. This is 50 ml, eau de parfum, and it's 31 pounds from me. So if you want a full fragrance list or anything, just drop me a message underneath and we'll talk or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be here. This, I've said before, I'm sure I have, I prefer it to the Jo Malone. And I love me a bit of Jo Malone. I have got many Jo Malone fragrances. I would never buy a, uh, a like for like of I would just get the Jo Malone but this one I actually prefer and I'll tell you for why I'm not a big fan of Oud but the Oud in this is not as overpowering as the one in the Jo Malone it smells exactly the same it lasts long like really really long I would say on me this lasts about eight hours oh it's just so good and it is really heady 
rosy but not an old rose it is like the bomb i love this and i have another one going as we speak because i couldn't actually be without it this little number i have a backup of this in the mini size and i have the full size with a backup to go with that and this is the way texturizing hairspray this is by way is by jen atkin and she actually says in the description don't think it was possible to maintain a hold in an effortless style without the crunchy feel we found way this ultra light this ultra lightweight hairspray holds your undone style using something blah, blah, blah. basically she says it's like if texturizing spray and hairspray had a baby or dry shampoo had a baby it would be this and it's true this i have on my hair today it just leaves my hair looking really undone really effortless it takes the shine off of your hair a little bit and leaves it kind of just beachy waves it smells amazing. It holds my hair beautifully. It is like a hairspray, dry shampoo and texturizing spray all at once. And I adore it. I got this from Cult Beauty, but I since bought the full size in Selfridges because it was on sale. So I got that. But it's £24 for the full price. That one is £10 on Cult Beauty. So if you're getting an order and you have to top it up with something, give it a try. I really liked it. Um, and I've been using it now for a couple of years, actually. Oh, this on the other hand, I hated. This is the Lee Stafford Power Shots. I wish I'd have saved one actually to show you, but I didn't. So basically, in these this little pot, there were little pods, almost like, you know those Elizabeth Arden pods? The little squibbly things that you just twist the lid off and you just pull the product into your hand. It was like 20 of those in there. And... I don't actually know what it was meant to do. So like you put it on after you've washed and, and uh, you've washed your hair, you used it on the mid lengths and ends and it was like a serum, but it was just a serum. When I put it in my hair and dried my hair, my hair didn't seem any better. And these are like the hair apology power shots. I didn't notice anything. The only thing we're really good at was weekends away because I could just pop a little power shot in my luggage and I had a serum for the day after I washed my hair without carrying a bottle. That was great. But it didn't do anything. And I, I don't get why they were meant to be so amazing. Um, there's no instructions on here. So there's 15 in here. Um, yeah, it was okay. I wouldn't buy them again. And the, the, the power shots themselves were pink and they really stained my fingers. So that's a no as well. So yeah, wouldn't be bothering with them anytime soon. This one either, I, this isn't even empty. This is really heavy. It's quite full, but it was just so crap. I have to get rid of it. And it's the LV Full Resist Brush Resist Cream. Leave-in product, protects from tension, 98% less breakage. Fragile hair with a tendency to break and fall. My hair kind of is a bit like that, but because I use the... Um, Philip Kingsley, it's kind of not really done that at all. But I used this quite a bit and I still had the same amount of fallout. I still had the same problem. Um, and I just thought it was rubbish. So I didn't use it for ages. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I might give it to somebody at work, but I don't know who would want it. I don't know if you like, oh, hi, do you, your hair fall out? Like, it's a weird thing to ask, but I might just get rid of it. Um, what have we got now? We've got quite a few makeup bits actually. Oh my God, okay. Let's do, okay, I've got some more skincare. Let's just go through all the skincare first. So these are my Kiehl's Advent Calendar bits that I've been using up. I used up the Midnight Recovery Amiga Rich Cloud Cream by Kiehl's. This was quite cute. Um, smells nice, smells of lavender. Obviously not much left in there to show you. I wouldn't buy it. Again, I love Elemis. I'm really loyal to Elemis. I got the Kiehl's advent calendar because I had it previously and the sizes are amazing and I know we're traveling a lot this year so I thought I could take a lot of those on holiday. That was my main idea with it. So these, this one I kept at my mum's. We had a little weekend away somewhere. Where did we go? Nuremberg? No, it wasn't Nuremberg. I might have taken it to Nuremberg. Anyway, I took it somewhere and used it and um, used the rest at home because I didn't want it to go off. So yeah, there was that. 
Then we used up the uh, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream for normal to oily skin types. Again, not a huge fan of this one. Um, I'm a bit weird with skincare and I don't like face creams that are a gel. I just don't think they have the same clout. And this one, I think I just used it around the house because I knew I wouldn't take it away with me. I knew it wasn't one that I would want to use exclusively. So I think I used it more of a serum at home, put it on before my Elemis skincare for a bit of extra hydration. But um, I wouldn't buy it for me personally. It's just a personal thing. It's quite good, but I just don't like putting gel on my face when I know I should be putting cream on my face. Does that make sense? Am I weird? Come back to me. So next up we have the ever famous Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This one annoyingly is still in a glass bottle and I can't travel with a glass bottle. So I am desperately trying to get this to focus. There we go. I use this at home and I really, really like it. I don't quite know why it's a midnight recovery thing, why it's an overnight thing, but because I have not been using a night cream recently, I've just been using my LMS Marine Cream, I use this as a pre-bedtime skin oil treatment. I've run out of facial oil from LMS as well, so the whole thing just worked out really well. So I just used the oil because I liked it and I knew it was good. And I have had the full size in the past, but because I use LMS facial oils, I wouldn't rush to buy that. But if you're in the market for specifically a nighttime oil, that might be for you. And I would recommend it. I do like it. Okay, that's it for skincare without the Elemis section. So let's do makeup because I've actually got a lot, which is weird. Okay, first up, we have got the Bronzing MAC Powder in Refined Golden. I'm not going to trash this after I've shown you not as much to show you because with mac i don't know if you know but back that mac do back to mac if you take six used up or unused up full size products to mac you get a free lipstick from their permanent range you know i love a mac lipstick so i'm saving Ooh, something in there. i'm saving this so i'm gonna put this to the side but i love refined golden bronzing powder i really really liked it i got it ages ago because I was on the hunt for a new bronzer. I didn't know what to get and I knew it was one that I loved for years, all times of the year. It just suited my skin. So just for ease, I bought that. I'm pretty sure I got it from Boots when Boots had some kind of sale on or points thing or 20% off. So it worked out quite reasonably, but I really do like it. It's got a slight shimmer to it. It's got glittery bits in it but it doesn't transfer to your skin. It doesn't make you look glittery. I hate that, especially now I'm getting older. I prefer a matte bronzer, but that one definitely served the purpose. And I used it a lot during winter. It was really, really good. Then I've used up another of my favorite Dior foundations, the Forever foundation, the matte one, and I was using up the shade 2N. This is my winter shade. I've now moved on to 2W again because it's getting a bit more spring-like, so my skin is picking up colour a little bit. 2N and 2W are almost the same, but as the N suggests, it's more neutral undertone, whereas the W is slightly warmer. So I use this during the dead cold of winter. It was lovely. You know I love this foundation. It's my number one foundation. I put it in my favourites of 2022. It will forever be my favourite, I think. So yeah, nothing bad to say about that. If you have um, oily skin like me and there's a lot of skincare properties in that foundation, it's not too heavy, it's medium coverage. It just does everything. Wearing it today in 2W, love, love, love. Again, not going to bore you with this either. This is the Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection in the shade Buttermilk number 10. It's my only concealer I will ever use. It's £4.19. It is better than any of the high-end products I have used ever. So if you want a concealer, get this one. For me, I don't use it under my eyes. I don't, I'm so lucky I don't have dark circles, but my eyes, are, are, I'm obviously, I'm 44, they're creased a little bit. 
So I don't use any additional cream under my eyes. I use it to cover my pigmentation when I have it or to spot, to, to, to sort of put on spots and things. It matches my skin beautifully, that shade. It matches my 2W or my 2N perfectly. I have it on today because I'm filming, so I want a bit of extra coverage. It's just everything. Get it, try it, you won't regret it. It's amazing. This one I'm sad about. It's the um, Lip Glow by Dior in the shade number six, Berry. I will be picking this up when I go to the airport in a couple of weeks, we're going on holiday. As you can see, nothing left at all. But it's a, if I have B-roll, I'll put it in. I think I might have some, I'm not sure. It's a beautiful lip glow in this most gorgeous berry shade. I've got the lip glow on today in raspberry. I love the Dior lip glows. They are 100% worth the price tag. It's a lip balm with a color that enhances your natural lip color. And it just works so well if you've got like a heavy eye makeup on today. I've got the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction palette on and it just works really well. The raspberry is a really bright pink. This is obviously a dark pink and I did rinse this a lot during Christmas and like November, December time when it was really cold here. I really did go to town with this one, uh, especially when I was using the Natasha Denona Retro Midi palette when I first bought that. This got a lot of love. So I definitely need another one. I will definitely pick this up at the airport in a couple of weeks when I go. It's on my wish list, so we're gonna do that. Then I used up my last micro sculpting pencil, the Arch Brow Pencil in Warm Brunette by Hourglass. This is the skinny, skinny, skinny version. And I'm not sure if you remember my story about going to Selfridges and the lady sold me the other one by accident. It was either her mistake or my mistake. I don't know. This is the skinny one. She sold me the normal full size one. And it was the best mistake ever because I realized I've been using a lot more of this to get my brows done because my brows are now thicker than they were when I started using the skinny one. Duh. So, <laughs> so I won't be getting this again, but I love it. It was my go-to for a couple of years. If you have skinnier brows and you are looking for a brow pencil, this is the holy grail. I only say I wouldn't buy this again is because I would only ever now get the arch brow because it's bigger and I have thicker brows. The product in it, I'm pretty sure is still the same. It's just more of it. It's got the most gorgeous waxy texture. It fills my brows in beautifully. I've got the arch brow on today. It's just so natural but it does the job. I don't like fake looking brows. I don't like really big brows. I just like this to be filled in so they look not so sparse and rubbish. I have the 90s brows. Let's not discuss what we did into our brows in the 90s. It was a bad time. Lancome Hypnose Mascara in, oh, it's just the, just the, average, the normal one. Okay, this is just the, the regular Hypnose. It's not Hypnose Drama. It's not Hypnose Dull Eyes. It's nothing. It's just the Hypnose. And I got this in a kit with from Boots about a year or so ago at Christmas where they do the full size mascara and the two mini ones. And it's always on sale in Boots after Christmas. I got that and I used this up because it was the oldest unopened mascara in my stash. So I have another one on the go now. I do love this. The brush is great. It's got quite a skinny brush and it's kind of like the, it's like a material brush it's not plastic it's just really good i love it and i would definitely get it at the full price but i love the hypnose drama that's my favorite one but it's a really good mascara back in the day this was my number one choice of luxury mascaras lancome do things some things really well the juicy tubes are amazing their mascaras are amazing and i've heard their new foundation is amazing so definitely definitely would invest and this was from my makeup bag work this is the benefit roller lash mini mascara which is now empty and dried out i love roller lash love it love it love it when i worked at nails inc one of the girls that i worked with she came from benefit and they had a song with this mascara i won't sing it but i didn't know that this was meant to be put on your lash like that because it's curved and then you roll it. So she said you hook and roll it up, 
hook and roll it up. And every time I use this stupid mascara, I sing that song in my head. So thank you to her for telling me how to use this. So you put it, you put the curve on your eye and then you roll it. Hence the term roller lash. Genius. But this is a cracking mascara. Again, another favourite. I Obviously, I'm not loyal to mascaras, but these two, love them. And a Benefit, I'm not a fan of. Like, I think Benefit is really not that good. But that, this mascara is amazing. I didn't like any of the other mascaras, but Roller Lash, yes. Now, this is long, so if you're still with me, well done. Let's go on to the Elemis section. The element section to a last because um, some people don't like it, and because I only use Elemis skincare, I just think people get bored. So you can always just turn this bit off if you want to, but don't stick around. You might you might get some inspo. You might want to try something. Uh, so Holy Grail time. This was the soothing apricot toner. This toner, if you don't know already, where have you been? Comes in a spray bottle. You literally just spray it onto your skin. Game changer. Gone are the days of using a cotton pad, soaking it in product, wasting all that product. You just spray this directly onto your face. Why did nobody think of this before? This is amazing. And it, this, I wanna say holy grail, not necessarily the apricot. I love the apricot. I love the ginseng, I love the lavender, I love all of them, they're all great. Whatever Elemis toner you get, I'm sure you will love it, but yes, you need to try it, they're amazing. Then I used up my shower milk, this is my favourite smell from Elemis, this is the Skin Nourishing, and this, it's like baby powder for grown-ups, it's so good and so comforting and just so lovely. I have got a teeny bit left and what I'm gonna do after I speak to you guys here, I'm gonna have a manicure. I'm gonna give myself a manicure because my hands are not looking great. And I'm gonna use the rest of this up in my water for my manicure because this hair is for dry skin with milk protein, jojoba and oat, cleanses, conditions and softens. So that'd be great for my hands. So I'm gonna use that last, I'm gonna put a bit of water in it, shake it, just pour it into a bowl of water to use for my ma manicure. But I used that specifically in January and February because um, my skin was so dry, it's been so cold here that I honestly haven't wanted to moisturize my skin after getting out of the shower. And with that, it's so rich, I didn't actually need to. So that was brilliant. I loved it from that perspective. And um, I love the smell. It's my favourite. It's very inoffensive. It doesn't smell of really anything. When you're in the shower, though, and the, the, the steam gets in there and everything, and it's just really comforting. I love it. So I've got a new Elemis shower milk in the, in the shower now. So there's that. I used up the Dynamic Resurfacing Day Cream in SPF 30. I really like it. I have another one on the go as we speak, so I had more than one, so I've just started using it. And I love it. Um, I use it alongside the Dynamic Resurfacing Face Wash. I use that every morning and every evening. I use a Dynamic Resurfacing Mask once a week and the, or the Peel and Reset. Either way, I love the Dynamic Resurfacing range. I thank my friend for forcing me to try it because I always thought it was too harsh for my skin. My skin is incredibly sensitive, but do you know what? It doesn't irritate my skin and it leaves my skin really bright. It kind of takes down your pigmentation and it resurfaces your skin. I mean, who doesn't want that? So uh, yeah, I'm a convert. I love the dynamic resurfacing range. Oh, <laughs> on that subject, my Holy Grail serum, I have another one. Thank God, I got it out of the loft today. It's in situ right now. And this is the Dynamic Resurfacing Super C Serum, Brightening Antioxidant Serum. You heard me mention this in one of my, I think it was a favorites video. And I was telling you how it really, get to focus, how it really um, 
took down my pigmentation. My pigmentation was pretty much gone within three days. I was lucky enough to receive a sample of it that was like a 10 day sample before the TSV went out so that I could talk about it and I could test it and stuff. And within three days, all of the pigmentation I have here from like my acne scars from when I was a teenager is gone. And I was like, what is this magical product? It's expensive though. It's 95 pounds a tube. I don't know if I would pay that for it, full price. Only because with QVC now, I've become quite greedy because they give us so many good Elemis kits. I would kind of hold out for a dynamic resurfacing TSV or a kit where it might be included. But I, at the same token, I don't know if I could actually live without it. So I'm saying I wouldn't buy it now because I have one. But when this ran out, I was in the loft immediately the same day to get one out. This ran out this morning and I went up there today. So I don't know. And I don't use it every day either. I use it for three or four days in a row until I can really see the brightening and I can see the, the, the difference. And then I might use another serum or a face oil or something for another few days. And I kind of try and eke it out that way, but uh, it's delightful. This is the, was the Pro Collagen Renewal Serum Skin Renewal Concentrate. Um, what to say about this? I honestly didn't get it. Um, it's nice. I didn't see a difference. It says it's a skin renewal concentrate. Use four or five drops into the skin. I used it up, it was lovely. It was watery, it just soaked into the skin, didn't irritate my skin. I don't actually know what it's supposed to do, which isn't a great sign. I wouldn't buy this for myself. But if it was in a kit again, I would use it because I liked it. It's elements, it's gonna be doing something, but I don't actually know what it's supposed to do. And I didn't see a difference to my skin, um, so. You can't win them all, you can't love them all, you know, so I didn't. And then, oh, Skin Nourishing Hand and Nail Lotion. I had this on my desk at work. I love the Elemis Hand Balms, they're amazing. They are really, really nourishing, really good for your nails. Don't leave your hands greasy, but they really do feed your cuticles. When you rub it in your cuticles, you can feel it working. I really love an Elemis hand cream. I wouldn't buy one full price because I love my Avon ones and they're just as good really. But when a hand cream comes in a kit, I'm more than happy to use. Last but not least, if you're still with me, well done. <laughs> this has been a long one. This is the, oh, this is amazing. The Pro Collagen Vitality Eye Cream, Replenishing Eye Cream. And I think all eye creams should come in a pot like this so you can get every last drop out which i did i even went in there with a cotton bud i am not ashamed to say i really really loved this it smells lovely as well it was just a really lovely bouncy eye cream i could see the difference i would buy this again by itself it comes in a 15 ml pot this took a good long time to use up a really long time to use up and I felt like, I love the peptide eye cream. I bought that again because I didn't know what to get. And Elemis had a special on over the QVC Beauty Week. They had no PMP on lots of things. So I got my two peptide four eye creams for £40 and no PMP. So that was a bit of saving. But it's not a touch on this. This, I felt, was a lot more anti-aging. The peptide four is a little bit more for dark circles. It gives a good hydration, but it, it's not for like aging skin, this one is. And I don't know how much this is full price, but whatever it is, I think it's worth it. A good eye cream is really hard to find, especially for me, my eyes are really sensitive. Anything makes my eyes water. Um, Elemis never has, so I'm really happy with that. But again, I was very lucky to try a sample of this before the TSV went live. I think I got two. I think I've shown you this before, but I really, really loved it. It's a shame it's over, but I will get another one at some point, definitely. Guys, we made it. Well done. <laughs> Pat on the back. 
Thank you so much for sticking around. I really, really hope you enjoyed this week's trash talk. Let me know if there are anything you might want to buy, if you like any of these things too. What are the things that you can't live without? Because I have quite a few and I feel like now I'm getting into a groove with my hair and my makeup and my stuff like that, where I'm just showing you the similar things each time because I don't want to have to buy new stuff if I don't need to. I'm not a sort of beauty blogger that will try loads of new beauty products and feed back to you. I have my favorites for that. I just like what I like. And if I can then reach out to you and tell you and you find out you like it too, we're all happy. I will always try new eye shadow products and lip products and stuff. But as far as foundations and concealers and stuff go, you'll be saying the same things in trash talk every time because I don't really change my foundation up ever. So I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next trash talk, but I will see you for a new video next Sunday. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.